Let's Go Outdoors with Michael Short, supported by the Alberta Conservation Association, conserving Alberta's wild side. There, how does that feel? Pretty good. <clears throat> Some 40 kids from across the province have gathered here at Alfred Lake just south of Rocky Mountain House to participate in the Wild Sheep Foundation of Alberta Youth Camp. This weekend is designed to give kids the opportunity to experience and learn about a number of outdoor activities. Our society is getting away from outdoors and the hunting experience, so if we can provide a place where kids can come and get just a basic overview of what it takes for hunting to shooting to survival and just give them a taste of it so that you know it piques their interest and maybe they'll pursue it more. This is my first year and my friend Taylor she invited me here so I think it's pretty cool. Just be able to come out here and do activities and stuff. Do you have a favorite activity? Um, the gun shooting. What are some items that you guys would think would be always in your pack whether it's a day pack or if you're going for an extended trip and you know you ask them what the essentials are and you know fire starter rain gear you know that that kind of stuff the, the stuff that they can kind of can't do without and uh, yeah a lot of them are, are repeats here I think we've got four that are new and they're throwing the right answers in there too so so it's good they're coming with some knowledge it's all the little things the moments yeah, it's the fun that part. you got to learn to appreciate. That's what hunting's all about. Our volunteers are are really phenomenal. Christy and I wouldn't be able to do this camp without year after year the same people wanting to help. They all have a passion for youth and they all have a passion for hunting. So when you combine them both, at the time we're done at, at the end of the camp, most kids are saying, wow, I love this, I want to come back. Probably more there we go. Nicely done. It's all about building passion in young people for the outdoors and it's organizations like the Wild Sheep Foundation of Alberta and their countless volunteers that put the time and effort so that that goal can be achieved. Alberta Conservation Association. Since 1997, more than $120 million has gone towards conserving wildlife and fish and securing habitat, creating a lasting legacy for Albertans.